Hello everyone. In the last video, we learned about how to use SAP Fragment and Dialog. This was our uh, application code where we created the confidential detail as a dialog and uh, we load it inside a fragment. And uh, these values are also inside a fragment. Now, if we see, we have multiple files available like fragment folder is there, fragments, and then two fragment files are there. And if you go to the GitHub account where we are keeping our uh, application code my bank underscore details you won't find the updated code here so what i want to do i want to create a separate branch where i can push the code related to dialogue and fragment so anytime when you come to the app come to my github page you can actually find the code and you can take a clone and start working on it this is what we are going to do in this video if you want to search tectors india you just search it on google and uh, just put GitHub after it, and the first link would be the Tectors India you will find. Once you come to this page, you click on the left top. There is a icon of a cat, GitHub icon. You click on it, and you will see all the repositories that are created. Here you go to the Tectors India slash my bank details. Inside this, currently we have only one branch. Now we are going to create another branch in it. Let and we will push all the code like these fragments and whatever the code we have written in the controller to open the fragment this code we want to push on our github repository how do we do that i will open the terminal i'll open a new terminal and i just make it little big so it would be visible to you not this much big okay first we will go inside the project the project name is my bank underscore details cd my bank underscore details once we are inside the project folder now we need to create a new branch on github so first we will do git init to initialize the git git is already initialized once the git is initialized now we will add whatever the changes we have done in recent so for this there is a command called git add space dot and uh, since uh, i have pushed the earlier code so i won't commit anything this time and i will directly create a new branch which is and the code of doing that is get branch hyphen capital M and the branch name. So I'm giving the branch name as fragment underscore dialog. This should be my branch. And now I want to push the code to this particular branch. I will put hyphen U and origin. Now the branch name where we want to push the code. So this is the newly created branch that I am typing fragment underscore dialog and I hit enter. And a branch has been created and the code is now we can take a pull from this branch, this fragment underscore detail. If I go to my GitHub account, you see currently there is only one branch. If I just refresh, I will see the changes and the changes are the fragment underscore dialog branch is there because we have pushed the code from our editor. Connection was already set up earlier. So that's why one time if we have executed the token, it won't ask us the token again and again uh, for one account. Now, if you click on the fragment underscore dialog branch, you will see the code is available. So anytime if you are working on something and uh, if there is any error coming, if you want to compare the code, you can actually go to the fragment folder and you can open the fragment.xml file. So the code is always available for, for you. And we can also, whenever we, we will learn, we can take some reference from this code. If anytime we, we, we can't write so much of code, so we can take a copy from this code anytime. So this is the use of uh, the fragment underscore dialog uh, branch. Anytime, if you want to work on this particular code, you can take a pull from what happens, uh, whatever the active branch, the active branch is always, uh, you can take the pull. So maybe you, you may not be able to take a pull from fragment underscore dialog because once I will push something else, the active branch would change. So I would suggest you for code comparison, you can utilize that. And the, in the master branch, you will always find the updated code. So we are almost in the end of this series where uh, we are going to deploy this application on SAP Cloud. We will do some more changes. I will show you aggregation binding and resource uh, binding. So binding is uh, pending, and then we will deploy this application to SAP Cloud Platform. We will also develop other applications in, in our next series. But this series is uh, almost uh, in the end. So you can find the code always from this branch resource model if you notice our IAT and properties file right now there is nothing because all the values that we are using are hard-coded values so we will see how IATN can work and I will also show you how 
you can actually test the IATNN locally while running the application locally uh, by changing the browser language and by writing few line of code to test it. So without using Fury Launchpad, we can test the application locally, how the translation would look. And we will do the translation in Spanish and German. So stay connected.